Welcome, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few jobs that I created in GTA 5. Each job consists an average of about four to six hours of work in creation mode. I know it seems a little ridiculous, but I like to put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into each of my game types, so it's fair for each team and everyone's having fun. So without any further ado, please enjoy. My first game type here is called the Apocalypse Bridge. This is my most recent game that I created, and it's the last team standing variant. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic event. I know it looks a little messy, but trust me, it took a long time and a lot of tweaks to make it to what it is now. Here are the rules. It's two rounds, and you start out with an AP pistol. The reason I chose the AP pistol is because I think it's one of those perfect Action, it's an action weapon, I think it's perfect, and it's not that much of a spraying kind of weaponry. That's why I had to chose my weapon in a uh, intelligent manner, is because I wanted to be sure enemies weren't going to spray each other across the map, and I wanted to make sure there was a perfect amount of range so the spawn points wouldn't just get spawn killed. And you can see here that you run out of ammo fast, so you can't just sit there and spray. And a cool thing I made about this game type, and one of the most important things, is I wanted to be sure you were with your teammates throughout this whole thing. I wanted to make sure you see your teammates get shot down. I want to make sure you're pushing against the enemies alongside your teammates. That's what gives it that action kind of packed feeling, that adrenaline rush. That's why I made this. That's why I called the Apocalypse Bridge, is because it's just a straight up apocalypse. Also, you can tell that there is a story behind it as well, but otherwise, that's probably my main goal, is to make it so it's just, it's just straight up crazy. And there are destructible objects, you can shoot the cars long enough to make them so they explode, and there are barrels to shoot, which is definitely a good thing to use if you know how to take it to your advantage, but be careful, because enemies will also take it to their advantage as well. All right. Um, I hope you guys check this one out. Now for the next one. Smart Car Sumo, my second last team standing variant. This job is my highest rated jobs out of all of them. It takes place on one of the highest buildings on Los Santos. The title says it all. You just push the enemy team off the edge there's three rounds you start out with a golf club and first one that win three rounds wins the match but there's a catch if you get pushed off the the platform on which I'm standing on right now you do have 50 seconds to get back onto this platform before you die but if you get pushed off the building of course you won't be able to get back on this platform anytime soon so you might as well just jump out of the car as you can see here in just a second, I get hijacked, so I decide to drive off the edge, and the guy's coming down with me, so I just jump out of the car, and that's, that's, yeah. Um, you start off on different sides at the beginning of each round, and uh, you have, your, your best luck is to get in the car as fast as you can, so you can push the enemies off before they start their car up. It's definitely a fun one. Uh, I find this one a lot less competitive because that's what I usually make as I make competitive game types. But this one I was just making it for the fun of it. It's it's just a blast. Like right there I push that guy off. He's, he's fucked. But I have 50 seconds. You're most likely not going to find a car once you get back onto the platform. This is just because people just go wild and they just push all the cars off the edge and they're most likely occupied so good luck trying to hijack someone you'll just most likely get thrown around like a ragdoll oh, like a ragdoll um, this is this was funny right here look at this and then my teammate comes up and just throws him right off the edge that right there is smart car sumo all right now for the races. No more last team standings. This is one of my favorite races that I've created out of all of them. And it's also the highest rated races out of all of them. It takes place 
in the shadow of the mountain and you work your way up alongside this beautiful sunset. The reason it's called to heaven and back is because once you get to the top, then you go straight down. Here are the rules. It's gonna be morning and this is this is very important. You make sure you gotta keep this morning setting because that's what gives it that surreal kind of feel to it. It's gonna be customs off and it's the Sanchez motorcycles. We're all gonna be starting off on this lower platform uh, behind the mountain. We're gonna be working our way up to the top and it's gonna be very, very hard for some people who haven't raced um, on this map for the first time because there are a lot of sharp turns. If you just watch your map, your mini map, you should be fine. Otherwise, you'll just fly off the edge like a lot of people do <laughs> just like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a battle. A split stream is on, so you do have a chance, and catch up is on, just in case you fall behind. Um, and I just want to make sure it's fair for everyone, of course. You look at that beautiful sunset. That that is beautiful. That is extremely beautiful. The sunset was one of my big things for making this title, is because I mean, when you get to the top, it's like it's heaven. It's you're you're making your way up to that sunset, that sunrise. But in the description it says once you get to the top, it literally goes downhill from there. And I say this for a reason. It's because once you get to the top, it, it just, it's out of control. It's crazy. Your skills are strained. You can see here that I'm just going down fast. And a lot of people lose their place and a lot of people gain the lead. And this is where you got to be very, very careful. And you got to watch where you're going. Otherwise, you're just going to die, or you're just going to fly off the edge, and you're not going to be able to redeem yourself back into the race. You can see here I was in seventh, and I brought my way up to third, because I did fall off the, <laughs> the map earlier. That's, uh, that's to heaven and back for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Now for the last game type in this video. It's called Home Brawl. It's a deathmatch, and it's my very first GTA 5 game that I created. It's what really gave me that motivation to create more. I really enjoyed it and it was just a lot of fun. Here are the rules. I thought I was recording but I was not. It's 10 minutes and the first one to hit 25 kills wins. You uh, start out unarmed but there are weapons, different weapons that are spread out around the map. You just use these and you just kill as many people and as fast as possible. Uh, the reason I chose this general area is because I really liked the, the design of the house and I thought it was really beautiful and pretty and the white picket fence really went well with the house. But I like how the picket fence was destructible. Uh, I like how if you kill someone next to it, it just explodes and it just breaks and it just gives it that kind of real feeling. And it was, I don't know, it was just really nice and I thought it would be really cool to just make it chaotic around the perimeters of this beautiful place. You will find these these clumps of like people fighting and when you find these you will either steal a kill guaranteed or you will have a steal taken. Um, and this is just part of what I thought was going to be part of this when I created part of this I think. But I don't know. It was uh, not really in plan when I created this, I think. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure sharing these maps with you. I do have a lot more maps that I created. I think I have like almost 20 now. I only showed you guys four. You can check these out, these maps, um, in the description. I'll leave a link. And you can check out the other maps in the description as well. And since you watched this video, here's a little secret about one of my maps. There's a lawnmower in that bush. Otherwise, I'll thank you for watching.